Look at Ali. Look at. Okay, I have to take a seat after recording this. Um, hey guys, I just shot a bean, brothy beans in a lemony broth. Wow, I just made a huge pot of beans in a lemony broth and this recipe is heavily inspired. I was in New York a few months ago. I was with Maddie and we went to this place called The Four Horsemen and uh, we tried these beans. We had them ordered vegan because Maddie's vegan obviously and it was the best thing that I've had all week while I was in New York. I tried to like recreate that exact recipe and uh, this is what I came up with. I've made this recipe quite a few times. I've made it vegan, I've made it not vegan, I've made it um, vegetarian. So there's different iterations. It's a rough combination of Alison Roman, Carla Lolling Music, and Shira Bakar from Everyday Food, and Rachel Roddy from Food 52. It's all the recipes put together and then visually what I saw from Four Horsemen. I'll leave all the references as well as the recipe in the show notes. So let's get into it. All right, good morning everyone. This is what we're using today. This is the Rancho Gordo Christmas Lima Bean. You can use any beans that you want, any lima beans. I like these because they're super colorful and then when you soak them, they actually expand like three sizes. Okay, so I ended up using about half the bag of beans. Um, and they've been soaking and they've bloated quite a bit in comparison to what they were at. As you can see, it's like three times the size. If you take bean for bean, it's pretty insane. Even the coloring of the beans changes as well. So we're ready to start the alliums and start cooking these beans. You're going to need a lot of olive oil, so just be prepared to use about a cup of olive oil. So just coat the pan really well, maybe about two tablespoons and then you're going to wilt some alliums so i'm using onion and garlic today so i chopped up half an onion i'm going to roughly chop up some garlic as well so in goes about five cloves of garlic i know that seems like a lot of garlic but i mean i love garlic so that's why and i'm cooking this at whoa <laughs> i'm like really tearing up I usually wear contacts, and Allison Roman says that the contacts shield your eyes from tearing up, but yikes! This is insane. Okay. Um. Oh my god, this is awful. I'm like really fighting through this right now. Got him. Two bay leaves. About maybe three. Add in the green beans. I just add as much water as it takes to cover the beans about an inch and a half to two inches above the beans. And then you're going to want to put in enough olive oil to coat the entire top surface. So you just kind of keep going until the entire top is covered. Remember, there's no fat in these beans really. so. It's not like you're cooking meat where fat renders off. So you're gonna wanna use this much olive oil. I'm gonna add in a Parmesan rind. Um, obviously you don't have to do that, but it's really good. So on your own conscience. And then my secret ingredient, because I use water and not a stock or a, like a soupy base, I'm gonna use a tablespoon of the Better Than Bouillon seasoned vegetable base. You can use more, you can use less. I like using like a very watery amount, so just a tablespoon. And then I kind of let the beans and everything else within the beans do the flavoring. You can always adjust the flavoring afterwards as well. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone so that once it's an hour and 45 minutes, I'm gonna start chopping veggies and then putting it in. Um, yeah, but now we just wait. It is really hard filming alone. Okay, so the beans have been bathing at a soft simmer for about an hour and 45 minutes so what we're gonna do is put in the vegetables and right here i have three carrots and four like small, small stalks of celery i'm cutting these up at kind of a moderate size because i want them to be able to cook within 15 minutes and um, still have sort of a undercooked center because um, I like my vegetables to be not mushy, kind of have a bite to it. reason why I didn't add this in at the very beginning is because one, I didn't want my vegetables to be soggy. And two, I have enough flavor going on with the Parmesan rind and the vegetable bouillon stock 
situation. So, um, yeah, that's why I didn't add it up at the beginning. But yeah, we're gonna cook this for about, let's see, 15 minutes. I'm gonna pull the Parmesan rind as well because it did its job. There you go. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna turn off the heat. I have a little cast iron skillet here going because I wanna char a lemon or just a wedge of a lemon, like a thick one like this. Really just for a presentation. And then um, I'm gonna add in about two lemons into the bean stock. Um, at this point I would taste it along the way as well because you might not need that much lemon. You might need more salt. Ooh, perfect. I'm gonna add some pepper. It doesn't need any salt because the Parmesan and the broth really just sealed it in. I want a brothy bottom because I like a lot of broth. So yeah, isn't that beautiful? You can serve it like that and it will be good, but I really like creme fraiche because it adds a bit of brightness and um, I just have a little spoon left, so I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna set it to the side because as you're eating it, you want it to infuse into the broth, so it's gonna slowly reach the other side as you're eating away. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper, parm, maybe a bit more. Okay, cool. And then some parsley, and I like it kind of just like whole chunks like that. And then a charred lemon, really just for a presentation. I kind of like the bitter acidic flavor as well, but absolutely unnecessary if you don't have it. And I almost forgot, top it with a little bit more olive oil and we're ready to eat. All right, let's try this, excuse the mess. I'm so excited. Okay, so let the creme fraiche infuse every bite. Mm. Beans are perfectly cooked. Carrots and celery still have a little bit of a bite, which I like. Beans are nice and creamy in the center. It's nice and bright because of the lemon and the creme fraiche. A little spicy because of the pepper. So good. I have other recommendations. Um, if you want to keep this vegan, obviously leave out the Parmesan and creme fraiche. And if you want to make it vegetarian, you can add in a, a jammy egg, um, obviously the creme fraiche and whatever dairy you want. Um, you can also eat it with sausage, which is how they serve it at the Blind Horseman, or no, the Fourth Horseman. Right when you turn off the heat from the pot, you can add in a handful of uh, kale or some greens and make it a greens and beans kind of soup. You can serve it with thick olive oil bread and that would be delicious, I've done that before. Obviously the world is your oyster, so if you try this recipe or different iterations of this recipe, please let me know, tag me in a photo, send a photo to me, email me. I really want to see how you guys adapt the recipe to your own preferences. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!